In another piece of news, and this might be, again, a little bit shocking, there is a new method of uh, authentication. If we switch over to my screen, you can see that, hey, uh, the Cybersecurity Infrastructure and Security Agency, CISA, is now recommending that we move beyond biometrics that attackers might exploit. So all the time we hear about, oh, you know, use your face or, oh, use your fingerprint. Well, okay, that's a great idea, I suppose. But if you really have a persistent attacker or somebody who is really going after you, they're going to know that stuff. They might be able to pick up your fingerprint somewhere. You know, your mail probably has your fingerprints all over yeah. it. Maybe they could intercept that. You know, there's lots of different ways someone could get your fingerprints um, because they're out there. I mean, look, like my, my hands are out here. Nothing's protecting them. My hands come with built-in fingerprints. It's exactly. Kind of dangerous. So how do we get around the, the fact that somebody could just pick up this bottle and suddenly log into my account? Well... That's where a new type of security comes in, toe factor authentication. Oh. So toe factor authentication is supposed to confuse attackers by giving them a smaller surface area, meaning they can't just go up and take something that you've uh, recently touched and get into your account. I mean, you can never change your fingerprints, right? So if you touch something and somebody gets a hold of it, then boom, they've got the password to your account forever as long as you're using biometrics like this. So absolutely, this is a great idea. Um, if your organization is considering enabling toe factor authentication, there are some great resources here. You can see uh, a great explainer on why toe factor authentication is something that you should invest in. Because frankly, if you don't have something like this, like enabled, it's very likely somebody's going to get a piece of your mail, uh, a glass you leave over, and then have continuous access to your uh, toe factor, uh, sorry, two factor account. So toe factor is really where the future is. And we decided to arrange a little bit of a demo today. So this is a brand new Pixel, um, and you can see it is locked. So this is a, a Pixel 6, and this is really the you know great security. And what we want to do is we want to be able to make it so that this Pixel can be logged into, but not using a vulnerable method, like, like fingerprints, which again, anybody could just go grab a bottle or, or something else that you have. Yeah, no one would think that <clears throat> someone would use their toes to log into their no, ab absolutely not. So we're going to demonstrate what it looks like to use toe factor authentication because your organization should really consider. And again, if you want to play back this video for your boss and say, hey, we need to move on. I don't want my account broken into and for you to accuse me of not doing everything I could to keep it safe. So let's just show off really quickly how simple and easy toe factor authentication is, as is now recommended by the Cybersecurity uh, Infrastructure Security Agency. So Alex, do you mind? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, let's go. Um, let's go ahead. The procedure and, um, is pretty simple. So yeah, the first so, thing you usually okay. do. Um, gotta first. You gotta set up the uh, a toe account. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. So first, you uh, you take your shoe off. Shoes just off. Like so. Yep. Good. And then okay. um, the first step, uh, you have to remove this extra layer of security here, which yeah. is called the sock. Yeah, that keeps yeah. it so attackers can't get like a, a clear print. Uh, so you, you need to keep socks on pretty much all the time if you're going to use this method, yeah. because otherwise you could leave prints somewhere. If you've ever heard all of right, like SSL, ahead. it's sort of like right, the secure ahead. sock layer. You need, yeah. to, you need to disable that in order to... Uh, to okay. Log into your account. All right, All right bring, it up, bring it up. So after you've All removed right. the sock, then you need to line it up with the reader. Very. Right, you need. You might right. need a friend for this, and then, boom! Unlock. Oh there we go. Congratulations. All right. So you can see it is very simple and oddly intimate to uh, use the toe factor authentication. Although, as as you can see, you might need like an adapter to put on the wall so you can get your foot up there. Um, or you might even consider just sliding it into your uh, into your shoe if you have oh, yeah. a shoe that has like a port for your big toe. We were using the big toe in this particular example, but obviously that's the toe that an attacker might choose. I would say it's probably the most popular toe. So if you want to, you know, be a little bit different, I would choose maybe like a middle toe, maybe like the equivalent of like your ring finger toe or whatever. I think that's um, about right. Yeah, and that's yeah. what. That's, that's how I would interpret this um, cybersecurity uh, infrastructure agency update. So really good to know that there are new ways out there for you to log into your devices. It's been so long since something new came along. Uh, I just wanted to shout that out because it seems like a great way for you guys to get started using a higher level of security. Definitely bring this up to your bosses today because I think it would be a good start to uh, getting everybody on the same page for a higher level of security across the board. Oh yeah, this is a great step up from two-factor. And of course, um, one thing to keep in mind is if you don't want people like picking up your like fingerprints or like toe prints or stuff like that, having SSL secure sock layer enabled, yes. make sure that your toe prints don't touch anything or get contaminated or whatnot. You don't want that to happen. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you everyone for joining us and learning a little bit about you know how to upgrade your security today. 
Um, it's good to refresh that periodically. And if you know anybody who hasn't heard about toe factor authentication yet, please feel free to share the stream with them so they can make sure to get on board with that before you know somebody gets your fingerprints because you only got this set of fingerprints and you leave them everywhere. So you should be smart and use something that's a little bit more hidden. Yeah, make sure you keep your toes behind that secure sock layer as well. Yeah, the secure sock layer is very, very important. Remember the SSL. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining us on this April 1st episode of Hacking with Friends. If you have any questions, then feel free to leave them on the YouTube video and we will get to them on our next stream on Tuesday and we will see you then. Bye.